Hi everybody, we're going to talk a little bit about monetary and fiscal policy. Here's a great cartoon that sort of shows how our government tries to fix problems in our economy. You can see the monetary policy with its different tools and fiscal policy with its different tools. I'm going to start by talking about monetary policy because we left off last week discussing how the Federal Reserve works. One thing I will say is that this cartoon isn't updated for the most recent tool of the Federal Reserve, which is interest on reserve. So we'll discuss that as well. So we've talked about how the Federal Reserve is organized and that monetary policy is the control of our money supply by the Federal Reserve. And a lot of times you hear the Federal Reserve prints money. That is not true. What the Federal Reserve does is change money that is tied up in bonds invested in our government into cash money by buying and selling those bonds. They do not print money. Uh, some governments have tried that and it led to hyperinflation. So we talked about the Federal Reserve uh, last week. There's Jay Powell, the head of the Fed. Fed's made up of 12 districts. We have one in Atlanta. We're District 6. And we talked about the different roles of the Federal Reserve that you can take a look at um, from last week. But now we're going to talk about the four major tools of monetary policy. I'm the Federal Reserve. I have four tools. So as my helper said, uh, the four major tools of monetary policy are to buy and sell bonds on the open market, set the discount rate, set the required reserve ratio for banks, and uh, pay interest on reserves. And that is the newest tool that the Federal Reserve started using. Uh, most common thing that is discussed with the Federal Reserve is buying and selling bonds on the open market. The Federal Reserve branch in New York executes these buy and sell orders and they do it based on the open market committee of the Federal Reserve. So what the Federal Reserve says is we're going to adjust the supply of bonds in the market to keep a certain interest rate. And they set a target of, you know, a particularly typically a 0.25% range and they say we'll buy and sell to try to keep in that target. They're not the only actor in the market. You might want to buy bonds from the Treasury because they're considered extremely safe. So if you're buying bonds, it's a great place for people who are retired and don't want their money to go crazy uh, to have it invested because it's very safe. You don't make a lot of money. Think about a risk versus return. But your money is not going to drop like the stock market dropped the last few weeks during this COVID-19 crisis. The open market committee is made up of the Board of Governors plus five of the 12 district banks. New York, of course, is always there. And again, that makes sense because the financial markets are in New York and because New York executes the orders that the open market committee comes up with. And they decide what they want the interest rate on government securities or government bonds. It's the same thing to be. So... Open market operations, the open market committee buys or sells these government securities. When they sell bonds, what they do is they sell bonds to me or you, but their biggest customers are banks. And so when they sell bonds to banks, the banks lock up that money with the Federal Reserve and the bank gets a bond and they get a little bit of interest in response to that. So when that money goes out of the bank, I want you to kind of picture it flowing out of the bank to the Federal Reserve. Now the banks don't have as much money to lend out. So if you come in asking for a loan for your business or you come in asking for a loan to buy a house or a car, the bank may not have that money to lend out to you. So it's a way that the Fed can kind of tap the brakes on an economy that's moving really fast, which is not the case right now, uh, but that, that has been the case uh, and will be the case again. When the Fed buys bonds, what they do is the bank is holding that bond as an investment so the money that you put in the bank and deposited is nice and safely locked up in a bond meaning it's earning a little interest for the bank and it's very very safe when the fed buys bonds they turn that bond that the bank has into what we call liquid money money that you can easily spend you know you can't buy lunch at wendy's with a bond but you can buy it with cash so now the bank has cash in their vault and the bank now can turn and give you that loan. So this is expansionary policy. So the Fed is going to buy when the economy is low. So they buy low and they sell when the economy is high. So they buy when the economy is in contraction 
and they sell when the economy is in expansion. So as of right now with COVID-19, the economy is in contraction big time. Banks are very hesitant to give out loans, except for some loans through the uh, Small Business Administration with the fiscal policy the government's put in place. But they don't want to give you a loan to open a restaurant right now or to buy a house. They're very, very hesitant to do that. So the Federal Reserve is going to release some more money to these banks so that banks are less afraid. And I'll show you what that looks like with my Federal Reserve actors. Times are really hard. I can't loan you any money. Oh no, nobody's winding. I'm gonna buy some lawn for you. I can give you that loan now. <laughs> 